Uh oh. Uh oh. Where did my comments go? Oh, there they are. Okay, here we go. We are live. Excellent. That means it's seven o'clock. Hello, you're on Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara Bertram coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Seven o'clock on Monday means it is Mystery Card Monday. Occasionally it is Mixed Bag Monday. Today, I thought it might be a Mixed Bag Monday, but no, nay, nay. I, uh, I had to pivot last minute and I pulled a Mystery Card Monday layout out of my tickle trunk and here we are. So hopefully you saw my post uh, with the dimensions to cut. And yeah, I didn't have time to do my standard like post-it note, here's what you need to do, here's what you need to cut, and with a visual. So I hope that some people are playing along with me. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Paulette. Paulette, are you in a good mood today? I'm usually, well, I'm not always in a good mood Monday when it's weigh-in day. Hello, Sonia. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Um, yeah, I was so excited. Paulette, you saw, I know you saw my post. Paulette and I are on the same plan for nutritional eating and uh this morning i got on the scale and yeah my body let go of like 3.6 pounds sure did so i'm happy as a pig in dirt right now very excited i get it bev you're busy dyeing your hair and getting your nails did i know i see you i know hi penny from michigan hello uh mj hello i got your cards mj they're gorgeous i will be posting them in the days ahead when life allows. Hi, Penny and Kathy and Lena. Hello. <laughs> and Mary. Let me see. Yeah, give me a hidey ho. Let me know who else is hanging out with me tonight. Um, and that's the way to go, right, Paulette? So yeah, my body, uh, I mean, I've shared my journey, my dieting and my weight loss, like for how many years with you guys. Um, but I do know my body and it holds on, it holds on for dear life to every ounce of fat. And then I'm like, I know I'm down today and I'm not. And then the next day, I know I'm down today and I'm not. And then one day, boom, like four pounds gone. And I'm like, yeah, today was that day. And it was on a Monday, which is the official weigh-in day. So I am happy, happy. I have, I've had all my water. Like it's good. It makes me so stupid happy. Yes, it is. I know. Bev, the stress eating rate. Okay. So if you guys, we'll just back up the bus a little bit. Beep, beep, beep. <sighs> 702. You know, I'll ramble for the first five minutes as people jump on. Um, if you saw my post, you know that, yeah, dad ended up in hospital again. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. And so this whole kerfuffle is a whole new problem, issue, and concern. Uh, Reader's Digest version. Uh, we are very, very, very lucky and blessed that he is still alive. Um had no idea, but he had, um, uh, Mary, so I'm down now. Today is 17 pounds in, this is, I think week 11, right? Yeah, this is week 11. Hi, Lois. Lois Dempsey, where are you from? Hi, Marski from Calgary. I was going like, I know Marski's from Calgary. And then you said hi from Calgary. Yeah. Linda Johnson, hello, Minnesota. Tracy, hello. Gosh, I haven't talked to Tracy in a hundred years. I, right. Seriously. Anyway. Um, yes, the body will hold on to so much and the stress eating has been so huge for me. But I was just saying to, to Craig, I think I'm over it. Uh, it's just like when I quit smoking. I tried quitting for years, right? You know, you're supposed to. It's supposed to be good for you. Like, you know, smoking is bad for you. All the things you know you should do. And I tried for years and it never, it never stuck until it did. One day I just woke up and I went, you know what? I am now a non-smoker. And I've never had another one. That was it. Boom. Done. I just identified as a non-smoker. And I said to Craig, I now identify as like a healthy, a healthy eater and apparently a water drinker, although that still angers me. I don't like water. <laughs> I know it's necessary. Hello, Linda and Susan. Anyway, so yeah, dad ended up back in hospital uh, with whole new problems, issues and concerns. And so he, ha he ended up with a blood infection that went sepsis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anybody know anything about sepsis? Bev, I know you do. Yeah, that can kill you within 12 hours. Literally, it is just poison coursing through your veins and killing off your organs and boom, you're dead. Um, and that happened to dad, except for the boom, you're dead part. Um, luckily, luckily, and I think it was all meant to be the way it all played out. I won't bore you with all the details, but um, I had kind of, my mom and I had really kind of put the uh, the staff at the home on, like I want to say high alert. We begged them, please take his blood three, four times a day, check his vitals. 
uh, three, four times a day, please, please take care of my dad. He had just had the catheter out on Thursday and I was very concerned about infection. And, um, anyway, oh, MJ, it's just brutal. Uh, that's what, that's what took my friend Laurel over, um, at Thanksgiving. That's what, and she was in the hospital when it happened. So just because they catch it doesn't mean that they're going to be able to fix it and save you. So anyway, the staff at the home were on like good alert and they were not happy. Dad had the shakes and he's had them before. And it just like, you're like, Hmm, that's kind of odd. Okay. Mm, interesting. Uh, no other problems. He didn't have like a fever. His vitals were good, but they weren't happy. Like the, the shakes were happening a couple times. And so they sent him to hospital and the doctor called me and said, oh yes, he's very, very sick. Like seps, uh, like I thought she said a bladder infection. She's like, or she said an infection in the bladder is what I thought I heard. I'm like, bladder or blood? She says blood. She had, he had an infection in the blood and went sepsis. So I'm like, Ooh. anyway, I'm so excited. She called me. I was at the hospital today. So I went up to see dad. And I hung out with him. He was sleeping hard, like most of it. Uh, very confused as as per. But um, I just got a call from the doctor on the way home saying he should be able to go back to the home tomorrow. So, oh my God, so excited. Um, so it's a round of the, the antibiotics they're giving to him intravenously right now, but they, they can give it to him orally. And so, of course, they're a hospital. If they can take care of it at the home that way, that's what they're going to do. And I'm like, yes, okay. So I am so blessed. I am so excited. There is not always an antibiotic to treat every cause of sepsis. Okay. So absolutely, Bev. And I think they said he's got, um, he has an abscess on his kidney. This is a thing? What? So that's what they're kind of, they're going to send him again for another CT scan and, or no, a cat, uh, some sort of whatever scan it is uh, to check in two weeks to see where that's at. And um, anyway, Woo, it's been a whirlwind. It's been a whirlwind. I'm telling you that was, so he went to the hospital Saturday morning. Mom was up there Saturday and Sunday and I said, mom, I got this today. I got this. So that's why our Mr. Card Monday is a little bit different than usual. Um, hello, Amanda. Amanda, where are you tuning in from? I don't recognize your name. And if you've commented before, I'm sorry. I don't remember where you're from. Let me know. I know, right, Carolyn? It's amazing, right? Marske, I like, pardon me, just wants to cry, but I'm, I think I'm out of tears at this point. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Uh, so that's good. Um, I'm going to jump right in here because I'm really not 100% sure what I'm going to do after the first card I show you. But before I do so, so Tracy, my operators are standing by. We are into the, this is it, ladies. We've got one week left. Indiana, well, welcome, Indiana. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, that's okay. Kathy, I just updated on dad and all that stuff and things. So uh, if, you, if you're if you interested in that, just watch the replay on that. So uh, I wonder if you got a kidney infection from an uh, untreated bladder. Maybe, maybe. Absolutely could be. So I will, Bev. I know uh, my, my nursing friends are like, what's going on? And actually, no, Bev. Um, so I asked, like, I know all the questions to ask because I'm like a super sleuth. And I said, could this infection have come from a UTI? Because they say he has a UTI. I say, I don't think he does. He's always got bacteria in the blood, in his um, urine. And, she, and the nurse checked and she said, actually, the bacteria that they found in the blood was different than the bacteria that they found in the urine. Um, so she, she's like, I can't say for sure, but they're different. So I think it's probably abscess from, oh, Anita, kind of love you. I haven't even brushed it since this morning, but you're my new favorite. So thank you. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Tracy, my operators are standing by. One more week, you guys. We have until 11.59 p.m. on March 31st to get in on my spring extravaganza. You need to register and do it fast. You guys, you're stressing me out. Those of you who are like maybes, please do it. Please fill in the form. Tracy's going to post the link because she always does because she's my girl and she's always got my back and I couldn't tell you where the link is. She'll post the link. You need to fill in the form and you need to send money to her at the paper pusher at shaw.ca. Yes. Uh, and she'll take your money. Thank you very much. Um... I'm not going to bang on about it because I got things to do, but these are the ink colors we are featuring. You're going to get paper. You're going to get embellishments. You're going to get all the stuff and things. We're making fantastic projects. There is a to go option. You can have it to go. Um, there's no stamp sets involved uh, or included and we're using the ink colors. So you would ideally want to have the ink colors, but many of you are demonstrators and you'll have them um, by the time that this is happening. May 18th is when we're doing this. 
there is there's no there are no videos there's no online portion if you take the good to go it's like here's a box in the mail and you put it together you get your girlfriends together you put it together there will be a pdf inside of the box that will show you what the projects look like this is the stamp set that we are primarily using and these are the dies that we are primarily using don't report me i'm allowed to share this this was something that um, somebody from on stage shared a picture of it's not pardon me it's not from online it's not from the catalog i am allowed to share this don't report me. Um, yeah, so that's it. You have until mid, like 11.59 on March 31st because Tracy then spends another bunch of hours crunching the numbers going, Tamara, this is what you need. In very small words, Tamara, this is the item number. This is how many you need. Order this on uh, April 2nd. So she needs time to do that. So there are, it's a hard deadline. There are no extensions. There are no exceptions. Um, please come. Please come. All right. So... Get up, let's go. Let's make a card. Okay, let's. I have one in mind that I'm making. Uh, you can, I hope you play along if you have to. <gasps> Hello, Anne from Canberra, Australia. See, this just makes me giggle. And like, how is it that you in Canberra, Australia have found me in Edmonton, Alberta in my basement, like hanging out with like this? Thank you. <gasps> Hello from the spirit of St. Mary's. I would pretend I know where that is, Anita. I haven't got a clue. The spirit of St. Mary's. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Hello, Barbara from Winnipeg. Hello, Winnipeg, I know. That's Canada. Okay, you guys. So I did, I don't even have post-it notes that I can share with you, but I do know that I said, okay, if you want to play along. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, you play along, right? Sherry always plays along and or plays along afterwards. So thank you to everybody who does. We're going to start with a standard size card base. Now, I'm sorry for my um, Australian friends and anybody who uses A4 paper. This is our standard, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to fold it in half. So eight and a half by five and a half, fold it in half. <laughs> I'm going to try to calm down a bit. It's been nonstop go since the minute I got up. Okay, there's our card base. So I'm going to try to just breathe here for a minute. There's our first thing. Then I said, you need a couple pieces. I said basic white. And so I'm going to make my card with the basic whites like I told you to. And then I'm going to try it with some designer paper. Hello, Montana. Welcome. Hi, Sherry. Oh, we've got a Sherry McNeil and a Sherry McNeely. Or it might be Cherry, but probably a Sherry McNeely. Well, that's confusing. <laughs> but okay. Welcome. Thank you for commenting. So these are the two pieces that we needed. I have no idea what they are. They're four by two and three quarters and four by two and a half. All right. So those are our pieces. And then we've got some uh, scrap for the sentiment. And in my case, this is a half inch by whatever I need. I'm going to chop it off. And then you're going to have some die cuts or a large image or a large something. But I don't. you don't actually need it. So you could stop with just these. I was going to say ingredients. <laughs> Stacy, I love you. Thank you. It, it, well, actually, these nails are, uh, these are an orchid something or other. So it's actually very close to our starry sky. It's just not pulling very well. Yeah, it's starry sky for sure. Okay. So these are not ingredients, but supplies. These are the only supplies and dimensions you need for this card. I said we, you can emboss these two if you like. If you do not like, then don't. But I'm going to. I'm going to emboss this one with the basics 3D embossing folder. This is part of the three pack. It's $41. You can see it's been very well loved. Come up by the state of state of my sticker. Uh, there's this one. There's like the bubble, the bubble one and um, something else that I forget. Uh, anyway, this is the one that I use all the time. So if you're using an embossing folder, there's this black line along the top and that will help you line up your card stock straight. I'm going to close the door and we're going to run it through the um, cut and emboss machine. And you may or may not know, you always want to put the seam through first. If you put it through sideways or this way first, it will over time crack this and um, it'll snap right off. Like it just weakens it. So you always want to put this through. And I have tested the theory and I know it to be true. I did do a number through um, sideways because they are six inches wide and I wanted the pattern the other way and it did break my my uh, embossing folder. So don't do that. Don't do that. You can do it a few times, but if you did like 50 of them, yeah, you're doomed. It's, it's It would die. All right, so I'm going to run this through. OK. 
Okay, so there's an embossed piece. Oh, there's the link. Thank you, Tracy. Her, uh, her comments often take a while to populate. And this one never wants to open for me. So Tracy just posted the link for the extravaganza for anybody in Canada who's interested. There we go. And I think Tracy and I were in discussions. Seems to ring a bell. Unless it was a dream. Ow! Oh, you know what? I whacked my head on Sunday. Saturday. So hard that it, like, I saw stars and I still have a goose egg. And it's still very tender. I whacked it on the corner of the banister when I was dusting. That'll teach me to dust. I digress. Tracy and I were talking about having the PDFs available afterwards for sale um, for our non-Canadian friends. So stay tuned for that. I think we decided we were going to, Tracy. I could be I could be lying. I don't know. I talked. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, now, I said that this second piece, so this is one that's four by two and a half, that you could also emboss this piece. But for this one, I'm not going to emboss it. I'm actually going to use my dies. Everyday details. Now this one, the, these dies. So okay. you may have seen my, if you're on my newsletter, you will have seen that um, I posted the retiring lists, the carrying over lists, the sale lists, all kinds of lists in my newsletter. And today I was, I was flipping through the leaders page and there was a big kerfuffle and a bit of a brouhaha about, oh my God, I can't believe these dies are retiring. And I'm like, they're not retiring. They're out of stock right now, but they're coming back in April. So thank you, Tracy. Tracy says, yes, we are going to sell the PDFs afterwards. So stay tuned for those if you're interested in those. Anyway, I'm like, well, these are carrying over into the online exclusive. So there's, there's a lot of confusion right now as to what's carrying over and where. But um, if you go into the store, if you go into stampinup.ca or more specifically, tamarabertram.stampinup.ca, um, you will see anything that's retiring will say retiring soon and this one does not say the dies do not say retiring soon they're unbundled so the stamp set and the dies will not be at the say at the discounted price but it doesn't say retiring soon unless i missed it but anyway i believe that these dies are carrying over i digress i am going to cut this out of this piece so this was four by two and a half Okay, anybody feel free to jump into the online store and just confirm if the everyday detail dies, item number 162864, if it says retiring soon. Because if it does, then I'm in trouble. And then I might cry because these are the best dies. Because I'm losing my contour, color and contour dies. And if these go too, I'm going to cry. Because they're amazing. They're amazing. Okay. All right. So... Now I'm going to make a mess. I'm just going to go click, try to get all those little bits and pieces out. If they don't all fall out like they didn't, I'm going to poke them with my pokey tool. For those who are, who have been asking, this glass mat will be available for sale or for purchase. Demonstrators will get first crack uh, in a pre-order basis. So they'll, I don't know if they'll get one week, two weeks, a month. I don't know how long they'll get. And then if there are any left over, they will be made available to customers. So there's been no timeline has been uh, released on that, but stay tuned. Maybe you too will get a glass mat. Okay. Here is our layout. Is this looking familiar? Anybody who has checked out my blog in the last week will recognize this. If not, well, stay tuned. This is our beginning of our layout. Now, this is where I said if you uh, if you have a large image slash die cut, um, you want to have that. So you could have you could have leafy stuff, spriggy stuff, um, leaves, trees, that sort of thing. I'm going to emboss this just because my card warrants it. So you may or may not know that I like this stamp set. If you don't know, you don't watch me enough. <laughs> Melanie, you will. You will have that opportunity, my friend. Uh, this, yeah, if you've watched me more than once, you'll know I love this stamp set and I am running a class with it. It is on April 26th. I have actually, I've cut, I have extra packages ready to mail to Canadians. $55 includes the stamp set. This is porch pickup, $55. 65 is long distance. I will mail it to you. Uh, you can also take just the cards for $40. All right. So anybody in Canada want to take it? You should, because the cards I've made with it are fabulous. If I do say myself, say so myself. So I'm going to bring in this great big guy. Okay. And I'm going to bring in, I don't, I have a mountain of 
stamps here. I'm not really sure why. Anyway, I'm going to bring in, this is a an E block, and that's going to be big enough for this guy. Okay, and we're going to do some embossing. I don't do it enough, and I should. Shame on me. So I've just got some a, a scrap piece of blueberry bushel paper. I'm going to bring in my hmm, embossing buddy, which is part of our embossing essentials kit, I think it might be called. Something like that. I don't really know what it's called, but anyway. Hi, Holly. Welcome. Um, so this is part of that little beginner kit. And you're just going to rub it over the paper wherever you're going to stamp your image. This takes off oils from your fingers and or any static that if you live in Canada, you know static. Usually your hair is out to here um, in the winter because it's so dry. We're going to bring in my Versamark. Oh, I also cracked my knee on the corner of my desk. I was a walking disaster this weekend. <coughs> Well, look how pretty that is. I can't use that. That's too new and pretty. I need to use one of my old mangy ones. That's what they look like when they're new. This is what they look like once they've been with me for a while. And so let's see what these other ones look like once they're about three, four. Oh, yeah, that's what they look like. So <laughs> new, slightly used, very well used. Okay, there's another newish one. All right, yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I'm going to use this one because it's medium yuck. And the reason why they get yucky like this, the ink pads, is because if there are if there's any ink left on here, which I know there, I can even see it, it's going to pull it off. It's going to pull it off your stamp and add it to the ink. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's crafting. Are you kidding me? All right. So I'm inking that up with my Versamark. I'm going to stamp it on my blueberry bushel cardstock. Give it a good push. Neither the everyday dies nor the stamps that are retiring. Thank you, Tracy. I trusted you completely. So I don't know the leaders. There was a lot of information that came down this week on what was retiring and what wasn't. And anyway, there's a lot of scratching heads and confusion, but okay. So now I'm going to open up my container of embossing powder. This is white. Is that where my card? Yeah. And I'm going to cover the image that I just stamped. So the Versamark, that's essentially glycerin. And glycerin is kind of tacky, sticky. And so this powder is going to stick to wherever you put the stamped image. You can also use really, really, a really juicy ink pad. Well, that's horrible. What is that? What is going on here? Did I have a cat hair on this? I must have had a cat hair. When I stamped it. Anyway, we'll fix that up. Okay, so what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, you could do this. So I could have I could stamp this in blueberry bushel ink or any other color ink. And if it's really wet and juicy, if it's wet, wet, like the the embossing powder is going to stick to it, right? But you have to move really quickly, really quickly, and with purpose. And quick and embossing powder and me don't get along so good. So well, I'm going to bring in a paintbrush. Of course I have paintbrushes over here. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to, you know what, it's over there. I'm just going to grab my, what is this? This is my aqua painter. I'm just going to dust off. You can use a paintbrush. You could use a Q-tip. I just want to get, actually, I don't really have to be too careful here. I'm going to fussy cut this with scissors. So all of these pieces in here that I'm removing, this is kind of um, unnecessary because I'm going to cut them off and yet I keep continuing to do it. My little, my OCD tendencies. There we go. Okay. So I've gotten rid of all the little flecks. This is an important step. If you were just going to cut this off and you were using this entire image, you don't want little flakes of white where you don't want little flakes of white. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun. Our heat gun is great because it has two different settings, which I can almost destroy you. There, look at that. Okay, so it's got a one and a two. What is this? A one. No. Nope. See the one and the two? Where is it? There we go. A one and a two down here. So it's low. And then there's high. So you hold it until it starts to melt your embossing powder. 724. Time flies. So you can maybe see it starting to melt. I kind of know what you're looking for, or I do. You can definitely see when you're up close.
You want to make sure that it all melts. You have to be careful not to burn your paper. If you hold it in one spot for too long, you can burn the paper. Now, let me just make sure, if I turn it, I can see where it's shiny to just make sure that it's all melted. And if it's not, you go back over it where you need it to be. Okay. And, oh, I do have comments. See, it's on scrolling again. Hi, Donna. Hello, Judy. How are you? Hello. Okay. So now I'm going to take my scissors. Where's my original card? Let's see what's going on here. And I am going to fussy cut this. I thought I was going to get like three or four of these cards done. I'm not. I'm going to get two maybe done. So I'm just going to fussy cut. This uh, this stamp set does not have a set of coordinating dies. And that's okay. Look at these beautiful images. You don't need them. You have a pair of scissors. Look at these. You don't. You don't. There's only two images. Not hard to cut out with some scissors. Kicking it old school. Princess, if you're in the house, I know you're twitching right now. Princess hates to fussy cut. So I'm just going to go around. Am I even in the field of vision here? I had a great class on Friday night. We did the uh, po um, post, uh, perennial postage stamp bundle. And that stamp set is retiring. Very sad about that um, because it is a must-have stamp set if you ask me. And it's a must-have stamp set, even if you don't ask me. <laughs> so if you like the perennial postage, it's the one with all the words. And you've seen me use it many a time. Get it while you can. Um, so there's a sale. Stampin' Up! is starting uh, their last chance sale. Starts April 9th. And lots of things are on sale. But if there's something that you want, say vellum, that's going away. Very vanilla... Um, very vanilla. Do you, Melanie? Really? The very vanilla envelopes are going away like forever. Uh, so if you want those, do not wait till April 9th. They're not going on sale. Um, I, again, in my newsletter, I posted a link to what is going on sale and how much. Now I do apologize. If you pull that link up for my newsletter, it won't print pretty. I have a new one for this week. Uh, I, I didn't check the parameters, but it won't print nice, but I will send out another one on Wednesday of just the sale items and the percentage off and the new sale price that starts April 9th. But if there's something you really want, even if it's going on sale, don't wait. A lot of people are stocking up. This is what they do, right? The in-color stuff, they stock up now. And I don't even know, I haven't had time to check if anything is sold out yet from the, um, from the retiring list. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Okay. There. Fussy cut. Okay, giddy up, let's go. Practically done. So here's our card base. I'm going to come in. I am going to glue this bad boy down with some liquid glue. You hate fussing cutting. Now, Melanie, first of all, hate is a very strong word. You shouldn't hate. You can strongly dislike. <laughs> you cannot love. You shouldn't hate. Okay. So this is going to come here, and I'm going to do it at an angle. Like this card... You saw I had like three, four pieces. There are minimal. I came up with this one for a blog hop. Kylie Bertucci's glob, glob hawk, blog hop. And I simply slapped it together. I was short on time and I had these pieces laying on my desk. And I went boom, 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 done. This one is going to come. Sorry, I'm very glary because it's all white. I'm going to put this. Sure, let's use this. Uh, gluing that down next. So yeah, it was just with pieces I had on my desk. I do too, Holly. And the key to not having a really sore hand, well, I do have a death grip on my scissors, but you need to turn the paper, not the scissors. It's easier on your hand. Hate is very close to It's a very fine line, right, Judy? My first husband, that was a very fine line. The first two times I met him, I'm like, I'm, I'm not really sure about you. And then it's like, oh no, I love you. What? Okay, how is that even a thing? Anyway. All right, now I'm going to go in. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Where am I? That was a weird noise to make. I'm a little out there today. I made a new batch of granola bars. Oh my gosh. Crystal, are you in the house? Did you, oh, or uh, Paulette, did you make, ugh, I made another batch of the granola bars today. I love oatmeal. It keeps me full forever. I'm, uh, Paulette, I'm using up old stuff from my from my freezer. I've got, you know, mushroom soup and I've got all kinds of things. So this week I wasn't loving the menu. So I'm just using up stuff that I'm finding in my 
in my um, freezer. I had to make another batch of the uh, of the granola bars. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, I digress. And I entertain while I'm like fussy cutting and things, right? Okay, for my sentiment on this one, sweetly scripted. Now this is a current online exclusive stamp set, but it is currently out of stock because it's very, very popular. Look at it, it's beautiful, it's lovely, it's fabulous. It is due back the week of April 8th. Okay, you need to know that. So April 8th, set your set your calendar, set your set a reminder to buy this on the 8th. Okay, it's fantastic. Now, I wanted to use, I wanted the, a thank you. Like there's happy anniversary. I could, I could even do a happy birthday, but I wanted a thank you. Well, there isn't a thank you. There's a million thanks. Oh, they're so good, Paulette. And I've got fresh, honey, like locally produced honey from a guy who works with Craig. And uh, so, yeah, fresh honey. Hello. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. All right, people. If you want block I for a stamp, say, that's like this one, you better get it now because this one is going away forever. They're discontinuing block I. They're discontinuing block I, G, and A, the little baby guy. The reason they're doing that is because there's not great sales for little baby I, G. This is A, A, I, and G. And it's because most people, if you have a really tiny, a really tiny stamp, chances are you're going to use the next set, the next size up, which is B. Okay, so A is going, I is going, so you'd probably just use this one instead, right? And G is going. So if you want this full size, get it now. I am going to bring in my blueberry bushel ink and pen. Now, what I could do, I want just the word thanks, right? So just the word thanks. I could take my marker and just color the word thanks. Or the part that I want of this step. And I wanted as much of the swirl as I could get. So you can just take your marker. Now, not a blend. It cannot be the blends marker. That'll ruin your stamp. Don't do that. Don't do that. It has to be our stamp and write markers. Let's talk about that for a minute. Journaling end felt like coloring end. Skinny line for skinny writing. Fat line for fat felting. Okay. All of our blends and our markers do that. I don't know. It took me like eight years of being a demonstrator before I learned that. Okay. Now, if you use the marker, generally you don't get as good of an image, I find. So, it's going to dry a lot faster than if you use the ink pad. So to kind of reactivate it, you're going to huff on it, which means you go, <sighs> right? And then we're going to stamp it and hopefully it's straight. So that kind of rejuvenates it. Now I didn't color it very well. You can see that T is a little faint. All right. So what I like to do, because this isn't my first rodeo, I've been stamping for 18 years now. I like to take my ink pad. And I, if I go like this, I can see exactly where that's going to ink. And I'll just roll it in the ink pad like this. Up to the line where I want it. Now I just have to be really careful. Okay, I went a little bit too far. Oh, Kathy, don't. What are you doing, girl? Oh, Valerie, it's so pretty. Okay, so first of all, I got a bunch on the block. Bad. And then I also got some on this the end from a million. So I'm just going to go in to try to make sure that I don't, you know, that's not going to end well. I have to really get that off because it will leave a bit of a watermark if you're not really thorough and getting that off. So I'm going to clean that and I will try. So let me try over here. So the word thanks and we're going to go boom. Much better, much more intense. I mean, the marker will work, but that's, it's just worked out better. So now I'm gonna bring in my little choppy trimmer. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do now. <laughs> All right, and where's my original card once again? Let me see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna chop this way over here. Now, I don't, I don't love how this ended. So again, it's a little faint. Can't really, there we go, stop focusing on. You can see how it's just kind of got a little bit fainter over here. You can take either end of this. This one's pretty, it's a sharp uh, felt. It's not dulled. So I can just go in and touch it up with your marker. If you're as ridiculous as I am, you could also use the bullet end. So for this one, I find it's a little fat though, but you could certainly go like this. 
if you have a fairly steady hand and just fix it up. That's a little bit chunkier than I would like it to be, but there's, there's two ways that you can do it. Okay. So now I'm bringing in my card that I popped that up on dimensionals. I think you saw me do that, but I didn't tell you I was doing that. And then I'm just going to pop this onto here with a dimensional under one side. So because this is up on dimensionals, right? Part of this, you can see this one's up high in the sky. Well, we can't have it off kilter. So you need to put a dimensional under this area here. Then you need to put some regular adhesive for the part that's going to sit on top of the popped up thingamadooey. So I just kind of nestled it under the leaf here that. Boom. Like this is such a quick, easy card, honestly. And then I brought in, um, these and now I've run out of the right size, but these are the four pack, the tinsel gems four pack. I think that's what they're called. Um, and they are in this color, whatever that is, <laughs> blueberry maybe, but I didn't find them as dark as I would like to. So I just grabbed my blend, my blueberry blend, my dark, and I just went and made them a little bit extra blue. So these are like a Sharpie. They're alcohol. Um, the ink in it is alcohol. And it just makes them a little bit more intense. You don't have to, but I like to. I can use my pokey tool, but I've been finding these scooch all over the place now. So lately I've been using my scissors to kind of pick them up like tweezers. And I'm going to put one here. I do like to have three different sizes, but apparently... I used most of them for my class. I've got the blueberry class coming up. And so I depleted my stock of these. Oh, see so you now that one I took, the glue dot didn't come along with it. So I'm gonna put that back where he belongs. I'm gonna give him a good scooch. Oh, now he's sliding all over the place. Okay. Fine, be like that, like that. And this one, I didn't do a bow, but you know, it looks naked without one to me. So where is my little guy and my little stuff and things? So why not? Is that a bow? I'm not kidding. I realized that the blog hop was like an hour from the time I realized that I forgot to do my blog hop. So I, I didn't even have time to do a bow. Like I grabbed and um, <laughs> this was a really quick card for that reason. So my blog, my blog is tamarispapertrail.blogspot.com and uh, you should pop over there sometime. I list, I do, okay, I am six or seven weeks behind on my Mystery Card Monday blog posts. I do hope to get caught up on those. Um, so for all of my Mystery Card Monday, where am I going to put this book? My Mystery Card Monday layouts, they're all on my blog. I just... Again, I'm just a little behind because life, it's okay. It's on my yay list. I did my taxes yesterday and I got them in. I took them to the accountant today. Holy crow. I was, I've never been this early. It's usually like the 30th of April. Okay. Look, you guys look. Oh no, I'm not going to have much time to do another one. That's because the embossing took longer, but look how pretty. Look. Okay. So this is my original one with the three different sizes. Okay. Thank you, Holly. I love this card. It's so simple. So here's what I was thinking. Like in my, okay, what am I going to do? Because this card is only going to take seven minutes. Well, apparently it takes 39 because I talk a lot. But anyway, I thought this layout, okay, let's like, I'm going to clean this before I get everywhere. Now I was thinking, how good would this card be with certain things? We could do it with designer paper. Absolutely. Let's grab the Latte Love, which is probably one that I'll do. I was also thinking the Filled with Fun, but that's going to require uh, more steps. So why don't we just do the Latte Love? I have 20 minutes left. And now that you've seen what the layout is going to be, I'm trying not to crack my nail again, my knee, knee again, because um, it hurts. I'm just <sighs> a bit of a hot mess this month. <laughs> Okay, let's bring in the um, the paper. Let's see what we got for the paper. And then we'll go from there. We'll let it dictate. I don't have time to overthink anything, right? So I have to be quick. I can do a card in 20 minutes. You know I can. 
So looking at this card, this could be the back paper back here. And let's just take all of these out and see what's going on. Thank you, Amanda. Oh, we've got coffee beans. No, not filling that one. Mm, oh, how about a swirl squiggly? Oh, that's kind of fun because it's big enough of a pattern. Okay, I tried to use this one before and it didn't work out for me very well. Um, the swirl. Do I have a smaller piece? Yes, I do. Oh, there's this one too. Okay, we don't need to look like we're total hot messes like this. Does that look like coffee? I don't know, what do you think? Not this one, this one. This one's pretty dark. Maybe I do these two. Maybe these two. Uh, there are also, co oh, maybe the coffee beans. Hang on, hang on. What's this one? Oh, I don't know if those together. I like these ones together. What else have we got? Coffee beans. Hmm. Maybe I'll use these for cutouts. I had another, oh, there is. Yeah, there's this one is for cutouts too. So let's, we have some options here. Let's go with those. Aw, thanks, Judy. Yeah, I am a good hot mess, I guess. I was so proud of myself today that I found my dad's room in the university hospital. First crack. Now that probably means I've been to hospitals more than I should have been in the last year between Laurel and my dad and everybody else. But yeah, I was like, intuitively, I knew exactly where to go and I found it in the first try. So go me. Now, I'm thinking, I'm kind of feeling, is that this color? What colors are in here? When you don't know what colors are in the paper, turn over the package. We've got Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Pecan Pie. Pecan Pie. Okay, Pecan Pie stuff. We don't know. Pecan Pie. Do I want, which one do I want for my, oh no, I don't want that as the base, do I? What do you think, you guys? Pecan Pie. It's a little intense. Oh. This one works too. I think I have a base all ready to go. This one? Or pecan pie? Vote now. Hmm. Let's see. Well, maybe that does look better. Come on, somebody comment. Let's say you. The first one to get two votes is the one I go with. Oh, it's a good one, Linda. Yeah. Okay, who wants pecan pie? For, you know, it'll be a race. First one to get two votes. Pecan pie or crumb cake? Pecan pie. Oh, we got two pecans. Wins. So pecan wins. Sorry, Melanie. I was I was team crumb cake. I was there with you. But anyway, it loses. So this one, let's just use a, a full sheet. I don't want to crack my knee again. All right. Just walking injury. Yeah, so like I say, I was dusting the banister and there's a part that kind of comes down and then goes in and comes down again. And I was dusting and I went to stand up and I whacked my head on the corner of the banister. Uh, I cried, not going to lie. It hurt and it's still so tender to the touch. I was like, Argh. okay, so this one I'm going to go for... And four by two and three quarters. Nope. Spam. Two and three quarters, I think. Uh, and then this one, four. That's right, Stacy. I'm not dusting ever again. Probably will. So I don't want to live in filth, but we did. We cleaned this house and we did a bunch of purging and did the taxes. I ate all kinds of frogs this weekend. I did my newsletter. Yeah, okay. All right, I think that's all we need for now. Let's see where we're at. I have 15 minutes to do my die cutting. Okay, so this is going to be like this. Chicken pie. Love it. Love it. Yeah, okay. Oh, hi, Bernice. Hello. Are you still in uh, Winnipeg? Is it Winnipeg? Yes, because that's where that's where uh, your sister is. And um, yeah. Um, I think that's where you are. You still there? I think you're still there. How's that? Is that looking okay? I think it looks okay. All right. Oh. 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 Hmm. No. Stick with what I had, right? 
I like this one too. Oh, okay, stop it. All right, just do it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Yeah, Edna. Sorry, her name was escaping me. Are you still at Edna's? Breeze? Okay, so we're going to go like this. Go like this. It was North Battle for, there we go. Now back and pick Tickton. Okay, all right. This is smaller, yes, indeed. Okay, so this one looks a little bit bigger because I didn't die cut this one. Should I die cut it now that I put tape all over it? I'm gonna. Okay, if you've ever done this, like I do it all the time, um, I just put tape on it, but now I want to run it through my machine. Just poof it with your embossing buddy or stick it on your shirt. Get it so it's not sticky anymore. And then I can run it through the um, cut and emboss machine. Because why not? Let's just do this. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to be home all day. So let's, fingers crossed, that the universe likes me tomorrow and I can stay home and get some stuff done. And by stuff, I mean, maybe I could get some groceries in the house. Like, I need to go to Costco. And I always plan to go when I go visit my dad at the home because the Costco is right near him. But I'm usually so exhausted by that time. It doesn't work out that way. Okay, so there. Now I've got little dots. And now I can go back in and put adhesive again. Like that. Oh, doesn't Mary, uh, MJ, Mary Jean? No, it's just, it's adding, this is like cornstarch or something in it. And so it's just a powder. So no, it does, it's not. No is the short answer. Now, if we had... A white, what would this be? Thanks so much. I could do a thanks so much in pecan pie. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Good questions. Always good questions. Things that I don't think about. Pecan pie. Here we go. I know, Nikki, I don't think I do. I didn't see stars, um, but it's, it's just tender to touch. Like, oh, oh, oh. It wasn't nauseous or anything, but it's like, wow, it was not a lot of fun. And this one, I'm actually going to stamp it as well in early espresso. Close the drawer. I might not, cut my might not uh, whack my knee. Okay, I'm going to do it in um, early espresso as well, just because it might look better. Kind of like that. Maybe I should do this on an, an espresso feeling espresso let's remove this so if you want to remove stuff lift it gently and then kind of twist it twist twist there let's see how this looks on espresso oh my espresso paper is it must be in a drawer or something it's gone it's missing okay. i have more i'm feeling espresso might be too dark but let's try it anyway what time is it? Oh Lord, seven forty-eight. Hurry up. This is how Tamara creates. It's like, no, nope, don't want that. Rip it off. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, and now it's gonna go here. And look at how that pops. Now this one. So I'm gonna chop. I like it. I like it better with the espresso. So this one, I always like to live, leave a little bit more on my sentiment. So then when I decide which end I'm going to flag, I think I'm going to flag this one. Then I can go back and trim the side I don't want to flag accordingly. It's a little bit crooked, but it's a little long too. Okay, so here is my sentiment ready to go. I mean, that could be your card, like depending on your, thank you, Cheryl. Hi, honey. Um, depending on what paper you're using, like we have so many great papers, right? Like if you were using, you know, the brights or something, just a sentiment is all you really need. But in this case, I've lost my papers. Here we go. Now they're all over the floor. So I could do coffee cups. I could do... This one I find very odd, very, very odd. You could do two or three. Let's do it because I'm running out of time. It's 749. I'm going to grab this because it's going to cut out these coffee cups, right? Yes, it is. All of them, right? Yes. Yes, it will. I'm going to cut out three of these. Now, in order to 
get my paper smaller so that I can cut all of them, um, I'm just going to do a rough cut. So I want um, this Calypso Coral one. And then I want this yellow one. No, I don't. I want this bluey one. So I got this one, this one, and then I could do the yellow one, but I'm not loving the yellow with that. So let's see. Uh, here's another blue one, but with a different pattern. Mm. Blue one, sure. Let's just do this one. Can't overthink it. I have nine minutes. I really wanted to do the, um, the uh, press. So in here, there's a die that's for the coffee like I've done this one actually so no maybe no I wasn't going to do that one this one like this could be like the coffee a coffee pot and so I wanted to do that one but I'm thinking not right now I'm on very limited brain power right now I'm looking very forward to bed I was uh some moron was setting off fireworks at 3 a.m again uh happens often in our neighborhood and so I was awake at three and I got back to sleep at about 10 to 5 so I'm a little out of um there's everything on my floor right now. Hang on. I'm rolling over as like my sleeves for my 12 by 12 paper. It's dangerous. Okay. So I'm just going to cut these. Sorry, I was just scraping the little polka dots off my machine. That's what that noise was. I'm going to cut out my coffee cups with my dies. Talk amongst yourselves. You could use scissors. I don't want to use scissors. I don't think I should be trusted with uh, sharp objects today. Okay, there's one. The University Hospital is so busy today. I had to park on the roof. It was crazy. And the parking is a lot more expensive there than it is in St. Albert. That's all I know. It's like four fifty for a half hour. So I'm spending like $14.50 every day. It adds up, man. Okay, one more. Here we go. One last one. So I think this layout will work with so many different things. I'm going to pop it back in the case. Um, I would love if you guys would try this out and prove to me that yes, this layout will work with anything. Maybe not anything, but most things, a lot of things. Okay. So if we go like this, like this and like this, and we can pop these up. We can put them in various, I want to fill the coffee cups. So that one's going to be there. This one, you know how I like my threes. But like that and like that. This one could go up here, or it could go over here, it could even go over here. But it's the same color. See, so now I'm kind of hooped myself on from the color. And then we could just do a thanks so much. And you could put in a, well, you could leave it at two actually. And then you could put a gift card in it. Oh, I kind of like that. Sorry. Don't, don't what? Don't what, Kathy? I have questions. How about like that? I think I like that, but now I want the flag to go the other way. It's fine. It's okay. It's all right. I have questions, Kathy. Don't what? Mm -hmm. So if you ever have to go to the hospitals, you need the AHS parking app. That's all I can tell you. Like you can, you say that you're there for all day. And then if you sign out early and it's less than the daily maximum, they give you a credit back on your credit card. So, you know, if you think you're only going to be there for two hours, just pay for the whole day. And if you leave in two hours, you get a refund on your card. Don't be messing around with that stupid machine in the lobby. Don't do it. Okay. 
like this, like this. Now, uh, it's 755. I really kind of think I want the flag to go this way, don't I? Too late. Okay, just deal with it, Bertram. Okay, and like the last one, because this has popped up on dimensionals, I'm going to use one dimensional over here. Kathy, you have to add... Oh, wait, what? Don't get me started on parking. Oh, okay. <laughs> the hospital, you should be able to buy five or ten passes. Yes, you can, Linda. Yeah, you can. Um, okay, sorry, Kathy, I didn't see that comment. Well, it'd be nice if it was free, but, you know, it's not... I don't know. I'll take it, given our health care, I'll take the, the pay in the parking and the... Air, um, the uh, health care being free. Okay, so now I'm going to come in. These are the dots. These are out of stock right now. Maybe you want them to be darker. You can grab your uh, blends and color them. So let's try. If they're going to show up, I'll leave it. Okay, that, that'll show up. And will this one show up? Not quite as much. I could do... Let me see how they look colored with espresso. And then I'm done. Um, we don't have early espresso, which angers me, but we do have like deep browns. We do have bronzes and stuff. This is a, I don't know, let's see what this does. This is a bronze deep 200. Okay, let's see if that'll do anything. Ooh, that's darker. Okay. All right, why not? It's going to scooch around. Our bronze might be darker. I'm going to grab my bronze and see what that looks like. Uh, pecan pie, I could use copper clay. Pebble path, it's kind of dark, but let's see what the bronze. This one browner, this is browner. Um, that's the other thing. So now, yes, I've colored it the one color, but if you go over it with the other color, it will take over. Okay, he's not letting me move. So. so it essentially erases the first color. So this is the, what is this? This is deep 100. Okay, so now I'm going to use my scissors. And then I think we're done. That. Uh, like that. That one's the wrong color. That one came off the came off the blue dot. It happens. It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not getting back on. Okay, he's dead. We're just gonna do a normal colored one then. Like that. And like it's just quick and easy. And if you have some linen thread. You know I have to do a bow. You know I have to. I can't. I can't not. Double negatives. It's fine. It's good. Did I mention I'm in a good mood? I really am. I should, like, today. <sighs> anyway. Full sentences are hard. Okay, so this is kind of a crazy, don't love, like, what's going on with the ribbon here. I'm just going to grab my scissors. And I'm going to try to curl it like I did old school with our ribbons when we were kids, you know, try to curl it a little bit. Oh, look at that one. Went well, look at that. Ah! Go. Okay. That's a little out of control now. There, they're all squiggly. How fun is that? There. Okay. It is 7:59. God, it's like I've been doing this for 18 years, you guys. Okay. Have you signed up for your extravaganza? My local friends, you should. If you can't come, take it to go. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love it. This layout works, you guys. Look at it. Look at Are you looking? Look at You're looking, right? How fun is this? Okay, here's what's going down. I am going to take pictures of these, and I'm going to post them. And then if you play along, or when you play along, I would love if you posted pictures of yours in the comments below mine. Okay, that's like, forget the glare. Uh, because come on, this is a great layout, you guys. You should do it. Just grab some paper. Grab some fun new paper. You have fun new paper? Do it. You should play along. Yay, Linda. Yes, you did twice. You, you were so excited. You signed up twice. <laughs> so thank you. 
Yay for Linda. Oh, thanks, Donna. Thank you, Carol. Um, I love these. I love this one. I, I love it when I can do it on the fly. This was nothing like I knew what paper I wanted to try and then it works and it's lovely. And so of course you can add another layer. You could add pecan pie and emboss it. You can step it up. You can make it fancier or you can keep it stinking simple. Just use white and a nice big, you could just do sprigs of, of lavender dyes. Like, Oh, thanks you guys. It makes me happy. Uh, Mondays are really fairly non-negotiable. I could very easily have said, you know what? Dad comes first, all the things, I'm not going live. You guys, you have, don't get emotional. You have, hmm, you have no idea how good you are for me. Okay. Honestly, uh, you guys, you fill my cup and no matter what's going on in my life, this is a constant for me. You're my grounding anchor. And I am so very, very grateful for you all being in my circle and in my community. Um, yeah, you guys are my mental health and I love you. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your busy week to hang out with me. Um, thanks, Cheryl. Uh, you guys are the best. I will see you hopefully Monday or Friday for um, whatever that is I do. Coffee break at 10 o'clock mountain time. I plan to be here unless I can't be. If there's a meeting at the home or dad needs me, of course, I'll go. But I'll keep you posted. If I'm not going to go live, I'll say I'm not going live, okay? But otherwise, I'm here. I'm here for you. Um, get on my newsletter. Sign up for Extravaganza. Have a fabulous week. Love you guys. Thanks.